Tax season is right around the corner, so in this video, I'll share with you three things you should keep in mind before filing. Hey, Money Lion, my name is Austin Hankwitz, and I talk about personal finance and investing online. I've compiled a list of a few things you should keep in mind, but it's important to remember that all of this is just for informational purposes only. You should speak with a tax professional if you have questions or need help with your taxes. So let's break down three things, how to file for free, how to report crypto and stock investments, and the recent changes to charitable deductions. And by understanding these things, hopefully we can all save some money together. And just so we're on the same page, let's walk through some basics as to how taxes really work because a lot of people don't understand. Here in the US, we have a progressive tax system, which means the tax on your income increases as your income increases. There are seven federal tax brackets ranging from 10% to 37%. To put some numbers around this, let's assume you're not married and made $45,000 in 2021. The first 9,950 was taxed at 10%, totaling about $1,000. After you made the first 9,950, every dollar beyond that was taxed at 12% until you hit the $40,000 mark. That's $3,700 in taxes, now bringing your total to about 5,000. That last $5,000 you made above 40,000 was taxed at 22%, which is $1,100. A progressive tax system, right? Taxes increase as your income increases. Now that we have a background as to how they work, let's talk about filing them for free. If you make less than $72,000 a year, the IRS will help you file your taxes for free. You just have to answer a couple personal questions. If you Google IRS free file, it will take you to the irs.gov website with more information. And if you make more than 72,000, you can still file for free. You just have to fill out the form yourself. And that's how you save hundred bucks. The second thing you need to know are the requirements around reporting stock in crypto transactions. For most apps and platforms, they're gonna send you a form 1099B or they'll send you a complete history of your transactions which you may need when completing your taxes. If you have questions about this form, you should absolutely speak to a tax professional. You may have lost money in the markets in 2021 which means you might be able to deduct that. Speaking of deductions, our final highlight here are the changes to charitable deductions in 2021. Ordinarily, people who choose the standard deduction on their taxes are not able to deduct charitable contributions. But there was a temporary law passed in 2021 that allows you to deduct $300 in charitable contributions on top of the standard deduction. So if you donated to a qualifying charity, this is something you should probably look into. As a brief heads up, this is a sponsored video. Moneyline and I have partnered with the goal of making important financial lessons easier to understand. If you have tax questions, please consult a tax professional. My name is Austin Hankwitz, and I'll see you on the next episode of Beyond the Wallet.